This December, the Lithgow family is celebrating the fifth anniversary of Panto at the Pasadena Playhouse with its production of A Cinderella Christmas, starring Lauren Taylor, Alex Newell, and of course, Morgan Fairchild. Here to talk about it are producers Chris and Becky Lithgow. Welcome, guys. Thank you Thank so you. much for being here. Thank you for having Thank us. You. Well, this show just looks beautiful. How did you put this amazing cast together? Well, well. <laughs> <laughs> we have been now in our fifth year at Pasadena Playhouse, seventh overall, and we kind of now have a, a stable of stars that are in our periphery. Lauren Taylor being a Disney star, she knows Sabrina Carpenter, who's been in our shows before. Um, Morgan Fairchild knows John O'Hurley. There's been sort of a, an onslaught, a ripple effect through the community of entertainers mm -hmm. that know about our shows now. So now when we approach them, I mean, Morgan's perfect for the stepmother. She's going to be mm -hmm. hilarious and funny and over the top. Lauren's sweet and beautiful. Beautiful as a Cinderella. And then Alex Newell from Glee, he's just one of the most incredible singers on earth right now. Uh. And to, basically, it's a ripple effect in the community where they hear about this from their friends and then they want to be a part of it. And we're lucky enough, fortunate enough to get them involved. Wow. wow. And not only do you have a show in Pasadena, but throughout Southern California, right? Orange County, Laguna Beach, and mm -hmm. San Diego. Tell me yeah. about that, Chris. Well, San Diego is our first time in San Diego. Um, but this is our second year in Laguna, and, and really it's kind of spreading south, so I'm thinking we might be in Tijuana this time next year. But, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of really taking the families you know, by storm. You know, it's, it's really a, the family show, so I think at this time of year, it's really something that, that brings the families together. Everyone can go together. Exactly. Yeah. And as it spreads across Southern California and America, it will always be American Panto was created here in LA, really, and Pasadena Playhouse being the epicenter. That's so yeah. amazing. Yeah. And I've heard about the music, too. You have pop hits in some of these uh, performances from Megan Trainer, Ed Sheeran, Kelly Clarkson. How do you manage that? Yeah. He's the writer, so I'll let <laughs> him okay. speak to so, that. Uh, uh, you know, what I do is when I pick the music, I really pick it for the three generations. So I really pick songs going back to the 50s, you know, all the way through the 80s for the parents, and then, you know, modern day ones like Megan Trainer. Um, Which but, the know, step says, sisters sing. Like, yeah, My yeah. name is No uh, Oh, that, it's very that fun. Was <laughs> But it's really, it's really um, because of our connections with you know, American Idol and So You Think You Dance, we have this whole music clearance thing. Mm -hmm. So we're able to get all these pop songs. And people like Bruno Mars are very supportive. You know, they, oh, tell them Dolly Parton wrote us a letter this year. Yeah, th we, we've got Cinderella scrubbing away, singing nine to five. And oh she's my God. so excited because I love, I love Panto. I love the Lithgow That's family. That's amazing. Really yeah. amazing. And if, yeah, we should point out that, of course, your father is Nigel Lithgow, sure. who, of course, from American Idol fame. And so yeah. you think you can dance yeah. and everything. Yeah. So, And now the audience gets to be involved in some of these shows. Is that right? Yes. It's, it's a British tradition, really, that's been going on for 200 years, and we've made it now this American panto tradition okay. within the Lithgow family. And British panto, American panto, is fairy tales set to modern music that are interactive with the audience. So you boo the stepsisters, you cheer Cinderella, you cheer the little white miniature pony. Um, <laughs> it, it's really, it's really, the audience is the other um, player in the show. I love that because it gives the audience a really, a chance to get engaged. Exactly. And the children, too. I mean, they're going to love that. Yeah. Yeah, we're not telling them to sit down yeah. and be quiet. We're telling them to like explode with yeah. you know their imaginations and really capture you know the young audiences, but get them into theater and everything. They can sing along. They can dance in the aisles. They can scream back at their favorite character. And Chris hopes one day they go to Les Mis and they're like booing Javert. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great British tradition. I'm glad you guys are adopting that. Thank you. Yes. What else would you like to tell us about the show and what it takes to pull it all together this time of year? I think uh, the most important thing is twofold. One, it brings together multi-generations, families, mm -hmm. units, the kids, the parents, the grandparents. Shared at the experience. Shared experience at the holiday time. And then secondly, this is such an incredible platform to introduce new young audiences to the theater. I'd say 40% of our audiences are sometimes kids and families that have never even been to the theater. Mm -hmm. So it's just great to give them that magic. Um, and, and Cinderella Christmas at Pasadena, Snow White Christmas down in, Lago uh, in San Diego, and Laguna has Sleeping Beauty and her winter night. All of them feature <gasps> snow at the end of the show, um, dancing, singing, and a great time. It just sounds magical because I think so many families are reluctant to take the kids because they're expected to sit there and be quiet and this yeah. gives them such a great opportunity. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. And I think we're also really fortunate to get people like Morgan Fairchild or Donna Laguna, Jolie Fisher, um, because at the holiday time, they're a little bit freed up from their schedules. Right. That's true. And to give them this opportunity to, to make so many ha pe uh, families happy, it's really, it's really awesome. Yeah. So. Awesome. Well, I can't wait to check it out. It sounds fantastic. Thank you Thank so you. much, Chris Thanks and Becky, so for being here. Thank you. It looks beautiful. Again, a Cinderella Christmas runs from December 8th until 
January 8th, so you have a full month to go check it yes. out at the Pasadena Playhouse. And for more information on all of these shows, including how you can get tickets, just go to our website, kcal9.com, and click on Scene on TV. Thanks again for being here, and we will be right back.